945, welcome back. The Pennsylvania Ballet Academy in Cumberland County is getting ready to host a very special event this weekend that I have the honor of emceeing. I'm so excited. Joining us, we've got two wonderful guys here. We've got Emmett and we also have Reed. Emmett, can you tell me first of all, how what's happening? What are we doing in the next couple of days here on Friday? Yes, so on Friday, we're going to have a our first Thanksgiving benefit gala at the West Shore Country Club in Camp Hill. Uh, it's from 6 to 10, and it's a uh, fun, festive kickoff to the holiday season with uh, a delicious dinner, a cocktail reception, and we're also holding a live and silent auction uh, at the event. Uh, the live and silent auction, we have a bunch of cool, really unique items. We've got sporting events, uh, show tickets, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I know I'm excited for it. Not only the food, but to see these performances. And Reed, can you go into a little bit about the programs that are happening with the ballet, including the one for people with special abilities and special needs? Right, so Pennsylvania Ballet Academy provides classical uh, ballet instruction um, for students of all um, ages and ability levels. Um, it, our instructional team is led by uh, world-renowned former ballet stars, um, uh, wow. Vanessa Zahorian, and uh, she's our artistic uh, director, and David Karapetian, our creative director. They were longtime uh, San Francisco ballet principals, and um, they provide that instruction from our state-of-the-art facility in Camp LPA. It's, um, if you have anybody at home, uh, if you have a student who you think might be interested in ballet, um, I encourage you to call the Academy, uh, talk to Ashley, our administrative coordinator, and schedule a, 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 a tour. It's, it's really a one-of-a-kind facility. But um, uh, as a 501c3 corporation, uh, we're a nonprofit, so we derive our funding from the generosity of our corporate sponsors and donors, our families, and uh, from our tuition, uh, we get um, our proceeds from our tuition. We do uh, uh, fundraising activities and our, our twice annual performances. So. Um, all those proceeds go into supporting our programs like our scholarship program our, um, uh, and our uh, ballet, which is our all-inclusive dance education program for students with special needs. And it's a, it's a wonderful program led by our uh, adaptive learning uh, instructor, Lee Marriott. It's, it's a wonderful program. What, wonderful. So if somebody is still looking to go to this, there are still tickets available and you can support the ballet while doing so. Yeah, tickets are $150 per person and you can either call or go online uh, at paballetacademy.org to purchase your ticket. And if you can't make it, don't worry, you can still bid. Our silent auction is going on right now, so Ooh. you can find that special gift for just a family member or for sort of someone special. I know, and right in time for the holidays, too. We've got it right up on the screen with all the information for people in case they're interested in checking it out because, again, there is still time to grab tickets. You get to hang out with all of us there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, uh cocktail dresses and dress Oh yeah, and... we're getting fancy for this. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a great time. Good food, good drinks, and a great cause, helping so many people to dance. We love that. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Keep well, the arts alive. Absolutely. Thank you both for being here. Yes, thank you. It's really been a pleasure chatting with you on air and behind the scenes. Yeah. We really appreciate it. <laughs> and we're looking forward to this Friday. Just a reminder, the Thanks for Giving Benefit Bella will take place uh, at the West Shore Country Club this Friday from 6 to 10 p.m. The gala, that is. Registration begins begins at 5.30. You can find more information on our website, fox43.com.